Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound lead to acetate. All right, so let's start with left to right. Let's start with the lead, right? I'm going to scan the periodic table to see if I see a lead, right? And lead looks like lead is all the way down here. Lead is represented as a PB. Now, just know that lead is a metal, guys, right? There is a staircase on the periodic table, and the rule is that all elements to the left of this staircase are all metals except for hydrogen. Okay, so lead, even though it looks like it's in non-metal territory, lead is always a metal. So I'm going to put PB over here. That's what lead is. And maybe I'll put PB up top here. Now, star lead out, guys, okay? Because lead can be a plus or a minus 4, but lead is a post-transitional metal. But it's a transition metal, and transition metals have many different charges. So in this case... We have the Roman numeral to tell us what charge lead is going to be. Remember, the charge is always the, uh, the Roman numeral is the charge of the metal. So in this case, it's going to be a plus 2 charge because the Roman numeral is 2. It does not follow the trend on the periodic table. So Roman numerals take precedence over trends. I know it's a positive also because all metals are positive charges. The next component that I see is acetate. I see that I have an ATE ending, and all ATE endings are polyatomic ions. They are not going to be on the periodic table. So for this case, I wrote down what acetate is. Now, acetate you can see in many different forms. You could see it as C2H3O2. You could see it as CH3COO. In this case, I'm going to use this one, okay? So I'm going to say that acetate is c 2 H3, O2, and acetate always has a negative one charge. Now, since we have the two charges, all we have to do are crisscross them to just say how many of each component I need in my formula. This plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two acetates, and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one lead. Now, when you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives. We're just using these now as like counting numbers. So I'm ready to write my formula. I got PB. This is telling me that I only need one of them, so I don't have to write the one. But here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics, which is what we have here, I have two acetates, I need to put parentheses around the whole polyatomic. So I'm going to put parentheses, C2, H3O2, the whole acetate, close the parentheses, and now I'm going to say, okay, I have two of them. And that's it. You're done. So lead 2 acetate is PB, C2H3O2, 2. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys, and good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. Just keep studying hard, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.